Hey there YouTube, Boomerang507 here. I haven't done a video a while again. Um, my full-time job has been kind of kicking my butt and I also rented a storage unit. Mm -hmm. So I have been moving into the storage unit lately. I'm um, sorry this is going to be kind of a shaky camera video a la Blair Witch Project again, but I couldn't get my tripod to really show show this today. So I apologize for that. Uh, but I wanted to do a video today on how I keep track of my inventory. And you can see that it's a notebook. You probably can also hear my dog growling in the background. We'll just ignore that. Um, she's probably barking at nothing because that's what dogs do. Um, you might know from my comments on the thrifting lounge or in a previous video that I'm a computer geek by day, yet I still use the pen and paper method. Um, I tried a couple of different Excel spreadsheets and I just couldn't get them to work for me. So I thought I would show you my system. So again, as I, you could see, it's a notebook. Um, if I bring home a haul, um, I would get out my inventory notebook and I would start with today's date, uh, 7, 18, 14. Uh, let's say my first item, and I'm just making stuff up here. Let's say it's a Tommy... Yeah, I can't even write. Ta I can't write and talk at the same time. I'm not that talented. Tommy Bahama, short sleeve, button front, shirt in a 2XL. Um, and let's say I paid $350. Um, it's made in Vietnam. And it's 100% cotton. Uh, it's a short sleeve shirt, so I'm going to measure pit to pit, or I abbreviate that A to A for armpit to armpit, um, and shoulder to hem, which I abbreviate S to H. So I would measure the shirt and write it down and move on to my next item. And once I have all of my items written down, I would go to eBay and research what I'm going to price them at. Um, I would also make any other notes that I, if I run into anything in my research. Um, so for example, my title so far is Tommy Bahama short sleeve button front shirt 2XL. If I research that on eBay and see that, uh, let's say it's some other item and somebody else is using a different word in the title or a different phrasing, um, I may change that. I would make a note of that here. Um, and then let's say I decide I'm going to price this at $19.99. Um, so then once I get all my pricing down and I know what I'm going to sell everything for, I would take the pictures um, and then I have all of my item details and I'm ready to list. So when I have a chance to list or when I, when I decide it's a good time to list, um, I can do that. When the item sells, I just take a red pen, usually, um, and just write sold in the margin. That way, when I go through my notebook, I can verify that my <clears throat> unsold items match up with my active items on eBay. And I do that once in a while because sometimes if I use the relist or relist as fixed price or whatever, if I use eBay's relist option, and I don't do that very often. I find it's kind of glitchy, so I want to double check that, so I just do that periodically. Just kind of check and make sure everything matches up. Um, and one other little comment, I don't know, maybe you noticed this in the in the video, my pen has mom taped on it. Um, my son is kind of obsessed with office supplies. Um, I know he's 13, but he just has this thing for pens and notebooks. So if I don't write my name on them, he steals them. <laughs> so mine say mom on them. Just a funny little story for you. Anyway, that is what I do. Um, I hope that helps. And uh, if you have used something other than an Excel spreadsheet or this notebook, please leave a comment. I would love to hear some other options, even though this is working really well for me right now. That may not always be the case. So I would love to hear from you. Would also love you to hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.